Hey guys, Motocon out here, and today we're talking Subaru engines again, and more specifically, Subaru engine noise. The difference between a rod knock and a piston slap on these engines. The piston slap is considered normal, unless it's really, really aggressive and really, really loud. Now this engine has piston slap when it's warm or when it's cold. All right, a rod knock, which you're gonna hear in a little while, all right, it makes a metal to metal banging noise. Piston slap kind of does too, but when you rev it, all right, you hear even louder with a piston, with, with the um, rod knock, and it doesn't go away when it's warm. And you can basically hear it, it's banging like right out of the engine. All right, I'm gonna start this car up. And again, this is gonna be the one with the piston slap. All right, when it's cold, uh, there's a little bit of play. It's a horizontal engine, all right, you have, um, the pistons are a little, they're colder, so they're a little smaller. So as they heat up, they take up that space that makes it slap and you don't hear them. And that's how you can differentiate between the two. Let me start this up. All right. Basically the noise comes from everywhere, pretty much. All right. From the untrained ear, that may sound like a rod knock, all right? Now when you rev it, that should make a lot more noise if it was, all right? Now watch when I rev it. All right, you can still hear, right? So now when I rev it, you don't hear it. See, you don't hear it? And then when it comes down, basically, the piston slap sounds like a diesel. See, we still hear it. All right, and that may scare a lot of people, but 85% of these cars, some cars make it louder, some cars don't make it at all, or sometimes they decide to make it. It all depends, but this is the characteristic of a Subaru. All right, and now we're going to listen to what a rod knock sounds like and compare the difference. But now I'm going to start this engine and, and, and let you hear what an engine knock, with an engine rod knock. Rod knock meaning that there's oil starvation somewhere, something failed, the oil pump, uh, uh, oil leak, owner didn't catch it in time, it ran low on oil, and the bearings are just metal to metal to metal to metal until it wears and makes a metal to metal so, uh, sound like this. Okay? So obviously, that is not a piston slap. You can hear that another state away, let alone if you thought you might hear it, all right? That, if your car sounds like that, that's a rod knock. Okay, now I can talk again. That is a rod knock, that's an engine knock. All right, you're gonna hear that sound in any engine when it has an engine knock. I have a, a video on what it sounds like. Well, that's what it sounds on any car, and that's what it sounds like on a Subaru, same thing. But the reason why I made this is because these cars are also known for piston slap, which is, like I said, it's a lot different, it's a lot quieter, and it goes away, and it almost sounds like an engine ping. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta, you know, very, very, you know, and don't, don't forget when the pistons are going back and forth, all right, you hear that little bit of rocking noise, all right? So that is not this. Okay, so now you know the difference, and believe it or not, you have nothing to worry about if you have the piston slap. These engines are a little noisier. You can say, oh, I like quiet engines. Well, there's plenty of quiet engines out there, like Kias and Hondas and Hondas and Toyotas. And they all, you know, especially the Kias and Hondas, they, the engines blow up. But they're nice and quiet before they blew up. So it really doesn't matter. All right. Subaru is a, a great car. Um, they have a couple of little quirks. Um, I'll show you that in another video, explain that in another video. But until then, motor car not, please subscribe, hit the like button. Any questions, uh, leave them below. I answer all my questions, help you get you guys back on the road. And if you learned something, I would appreciate a donation or super thanks to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and all the feedback that I'm getting.